the defending team have always gone zona mad. And they have hoped that the one executing the corner kick for Arsenal will not get the back. Will not find his right. But it's always and to the back. And I'm saying that that is foolishness. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Malam Go Podcast, and we are back again. With back Betway. again. Back on or no? Ah, back on or no? Back, no. Yeah. Back, yeah. <laughs> back like we never went away. Ah, uh, Charlie, guys, last week. So last week, some skirmishes. So, you know, we didn't record a fresh episode. But we, you know, we uploaded a, a video from like... Mix. Yeah, yes. a mix. A mix. Video mix. Who was Remix. in the mix? <laughs> Who was in the mix? I was Danica there. Danica in there. the mix, man. You were there. Nimli. Everybody was there. But Nimli, if you were a DJ, what DJ stage name would you choose? Have you ever considered it? What sort of question? DJ Zibout. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Zibout. That name. You don't use that name. Uh, my heart. Uh-huh. DJ Zibout. Zibout. Jehovah Zibout. That <laughs> name. You don't play with that. You have a name. <laughs> DJ Zibout on the 10 tables. All right, so we've got a lot to cover. Look ahead to the weekend fixtures. We'll That's look back. Friends. Yes. The, we've not missed two episodes. I think. No, just one. That's yeah, why. A lot of the people. So a lot of people miss the fact that we did a live. So for those who only follow on Spotify, because they didn't ah. see the episode there, they assumed, especially the Arsenal. City Wait, the people people. didn't put the audio no. on Spotify. Why? So they assumed we didn't shoot that day. So if you go uh. to the YouTube section, even if you missed the live session, it still shows us yes. one of the videos. But the angle you have introduced is yes, new. I didn't Spotify. know that I didn't put the audio on there. I didn't either. So it was. Hey, George! The night of the Arsenal PSG game that someone drew my attention. That I they didn't no. put a live episode audio on Spotify. No. I said you know no, that. We, we did shoot content wow. that weekend. Did Thank you know for, that? Thank you for setting us up. Yes. <laughs> George, Sultan, Thunder fire you. Anyway, so listen, Champions League night, massive results. Yeah. And we will talk. I was shocked. How did Atletico Madrid get bashed? 4 near. Woto, 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 woto. That, that's the. By Benfica. Yes. And Nundan Cheng, that one's you there on the side. <laughs> Leo. Allah, Charlie. Jonathan Wait. David. Huh? Jonathan David. Jonathan David. Jonathan you don't do anything in the game. He scored a penalty. He don't do anything. Remember, they have lost. He don't you do people. anything. The if this had been. That, the, the right winger, no. Uh-huh. The, is, is this the Glover or CD? Yeah. That boy. Oh, God. He did tear there. Jonathan you, David don't do anything in the game inside. Can play on one had, penalty. Had, they can do. If Haaland had put together that performance and scored the decisive goal, we would have been told that the most difficult job in the world is goal scoring. So we need to yeah. appreciate him. Ah, what about he held his nerve? Okay. Yes. What about John Duran? Oh God, Charlie. No, but that guy. Why didn't the level? Wait, why does does any of you know why Chelsea didn't sign the boy? You don't have money. Because Chelsea were this close. Hey, don't come back. I'm not going to last him. You get money. You get money. See, on this a guy level, can finish. No, on a level, like, ah. why doesn't he start? Because the the four four two say the two top that they are playing. I, I don't guess it. So the guy is doing too know, well but, to be sitting on the bench. But you see, from the little I've seen, all of the a- games when he's had that impact, the impact comes from the very spaces that Watkins like to occupy. Mm. So, well, if you break down, if you do, if you did a profile of his skill set, you'd realize that there may be some differences, some market differences between himself and Oli Watkins. The areas or the very things that have made him so valuable to this Villa team are things that he shares similarities with Oli Watkins. And that's where I think the confusion Mm. in Emery's mind may come from because you also don't want to lose what Oli Watkins gives you because, but for the referee, Watkins could have had a go. I saw the first incident where Upa Makano mm-hmm, dragged him mm-hmm, down. Mm-hmm. If he doesn't drag him down, he gets clean on goal. And 1v1, he's one of the most ruthless finishers on so the planet. He puts yeah, that but, away. but Duran has been... But what a performance by, by Martinez too. That yeah. last mini scene. Charlie, 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 bro, Charlie, 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 Come there when all the hopes are him. lost yeah. and the team needs somebody to step up. Like Granty Radley said, we saw that at the World Cup. We saw that in that final. And not only in the final, in the penalty shootouts where I asked when Argentina needed him to 
step up. He did exactly that. Yeah. You know, you know, yeah, I take my words back. I feel like there was more excitement in this round than there was in the first round. Oh, yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and also, the in- games, was, what are you saying? No, but you and myself were speaking about it yesterday. The games are too many. So, which one? Yeah, uh, I mean, for example, so it's actually difficult. It's, it's actually difficult. Do you, know you know that this video are 18 Europa League games in one day yeah, in one and day. 16 conference, conference league games, games all on the same day? So, which same one time? Two different times. Like, on Thursday. So, wait. Which one are you watching? Crazy. Yeah, to be frank, and I, I agree with Coach because, and they see the big teams are spread. Right. So, Bayern is playing, Real Madrid is playing, Arsenal is playing. Who are you going to watch? Why previously you bab on the same night to be done in like such two a or way three, that yeah. you have two big teams on Tuesday, the other two on Thursday. Right, the right, right, yeah, yeah, right. Right. So we could. I mean, look, I have a conspiracy shut. theory. Okay, I don't believe UEFA are committed to seeing this format through. My suspicion is mm-hmm. they want the whole world to see the whole the so called Super League format and see how stupid it is. And especially the game fatigue it comes with, right? For even the viewers, right? Because yeah, even for viewers, it's even stressful. for viewers, yeah. I mean, the the four PM games are like Europa League games, very much, very PM. much so. So you have four Europa League caliber games on each match day, because you've got the fa- for the four PM kickoffs because there were two on Tuesday and then two on Wednesday, yeah. mm-hmm. and then you've got an an extra one. For the 7 p.m. kickoffs for each day, sometimes two. Yeah. So, in a, on a match day, you have about seven pointless games. <laughs> Eventually, people are going to come to the realization that you know this format really right. as ex, as exciting that as exciting as it may be, it has its positives. But we are admitting up to about seven teams that may not really meet the standard simply because we think there's a lot of money to go around. Also, I think the noise. Or the arguments from players about the workload and the fixture scheduling will get louder. Especially the more significant players keep getting injured, right? This season, it's been, what, three months into the new season? Two of the players who have been at the forefront of speaking out of this fight are injured. Are injured. (laughs) One potentially is going out for the rest of the season. And, And he's about... A top five player no, no, in the world as we speak. Rodri is the best player in the world as we speak. So I think that the no noise is not isn't, necessarily isn't, noises. isn't that very ironic, right? The one complaining about yeah. load schedule. And he got injured in a very foolish way. <laughs> <laughs> Wanted to put his leg there and get oh, this thing. So just to prove to you guys about the chaos in the fixtures yeah. and just how incredibly but Rodri's injury was in the fixture party. No, 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 no. no. I, I'm, no, no. I'm, trying to, I'm trying to do something. Mm. I'm trying to, like, just to prove a point yeah. about how chaotic every game was and how, ma- how many games are on at the same time. I'm just no, going to ask a, I'm just I'm going to ask a random question. Truth be told. Who did Shakhtar Don yes play? I don't know. Oh, I know, I know, I know. They lost at home. Yes, to who? Oh, Atalanta. Score. It wasn't funny. <laughs> No, that's the point. Yeah. Truth be told. No, do, do you know how I know? Mm-hmm. That game was a 404 p.m. game. Yes, it that was. was a, that was a 4 p.m. Yes. game I watched. So okay. you ask me. <laughs> Truth be told, I, I'm not even moved that they are playing Champions League. Who did Man City I'm play? Oh, for... Who did Man City play? I don't know. <laughs> Slovan <laughs> Bratislava. <laughs> Where are they from? Slovan Bra- Bratislava. Which country are, are they from? from? Eastern Europe. Eastern Czech Eastern. or no. Slavia? No. Ukraine? Slavia is not a country. Not Ukraine, yes. Keep going. I don't know. <laughs> no, but no, no, that's just to prove my point. Yes. Yes. I don't know. Seriously. It's Slovakia. Okay. Who did Barcelona play? I think they play um, the t- young the boys. Young boys. That's for the big teams, yeah. No, <laughs> but even with that one, crowd, no, it's, you have that's to the think point. About it takes some. It takes, it, take, it takes some. So it's it's if it were the usual format, the previous format, you easily know Look, who played who. And, and once the fixtures are done. You have it at the back of your mind each match day the games to look forward to. Yes. Mm-hmm. Wow. Crazy. But anyway, big shout outs to Chaiva in the playboy. I think in you. as much as they are. It was a 10 10 performance. Uh, uh, you, don't you don't know what I'm talking about. You see, oh, I thought you said Adeyemi the play ball. No, I said Chale then the play ball. Peplinders. No, no. no, no. Peplinders, I'll be salving the shot. <laughs> but breast. <laughs> breast the play ball. 
breast according to their name. Hey! Are Sorry. they not second on the league table? They have six points. Four goals, bro. Perfect, Four. perfect, perfect. Breast, breast. Yeah. One ball off, bro. Breast. I have to join that. Team. It, was, it was a very. No, you have to. Coach, unfortunately, you're, 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 actually, you are joining at the right time. I, mean, I like breast. So yes. I, I have to join oh. Do you when, like when the brazier has left? After brazier left, now the whole thing is falling and I, it's perfectly placed for you. I will hook. And join. Oh, Charlie. Oh, Charlie. DK, stop misbehaving. What's up? What is this? <laughs> Look, you know what you see? That is what they've been doing. <laughs> so when, I, when you see them overly excited like that, that's what they've been doing. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. You should get Why would you? Ah, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Ah, why would you? You said breast. They can play. But why would you do and that? I will join the breast. And then, yeah. and then, I like it. And then, and he spoke about bro, the brazier. Got the, the top who, defender brazier has left. left. So when he left, they had to raise they, they, the morale they, of the team. And yes. join and protect the team. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Give <laughs> me. <laughs> 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 Your children are watching you. I don't know. When I say this, they say, when you start doing these things regularly, you will be reminding yourself, hey, you so not dim dim talk. But I don't know. Coach, are we still talking about the football team? Yes. But what has that got to do with? He doesn't keep fit. As Brazier was a defender. <laughs> and, and he, he left. Was, yeah, yeah, and he was defending well and they were keeping lots of clean sheets. And, when and he the left, team's defense was standing. And when he left, they were coming down. Yes. And I'm saying, I've defended. joined. So I've hooked them like that and joined. Are you ready? Grown ass men. The eldest amongst us. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> would you allow breasts to fall down? Yeah. Oh, never, never. Would you allow breasts to go down? Never, but never, they are standing never. strong on their own. Yeah. They, they are sucking on the points. table. Six it, points. That is the point I'm making. Because what? you hook, you are hooking hook them. Oh, breasts. Breasts. Oh, <laughs> oh Charlie. <laughs> Oh, God. Yeah, what my career said like, on no, TV coach, this week. Coach is abusing the pun <laughs> here. How? Bro. What did he say? He was worse. Who was? My career shirt. I know, right? So, kids. I know, bro, I've seen every video. It's bro, ridiculous. The timing was, you know. Of all the things to I say. I saw Jamie Reynolds. So Jamie said, everybody likes a bit of breast. <laughs> Of course. Of all the things I say, if you don't admit to it, then you are a foolish man. <laughs> of all where, are, coach, where, 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 are the, where are that team from? Brez, which country I are they from? I think they are from. The team you want to support, no? where are they from? No, me, I don't need to know where they come from. <laughs> the fact is, when the breast is falling, I'm hooking it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, so I guess it's a good thing Brazier has left. Ah, he was preventing us from enjoying <laughs> 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 the player who was hey, forget it. This is they are second on the league. Yeah, that's right. When he was there, where were they? But last season, but for him, they would have they were dropping. Yeah, out he of took the them to the Champions yes. League. Yes. Now, now they are better positioned. Now, what is your problem? <laughs> ah, this uh, has and to be fair, it, it, when it comes to uh, footballers like and uh, defenders like Brazier, it's a matter of preference. Yes. Some prefer Brazier to support the defense. Some people too, they don't need him. Yes, I know a player called T-shirt. That, that some prefer just T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, coach, you know that player T-shirt. Yeah, I've not heard about him before. Oh, but he's the breast I've heard about. <laughs> no, they are good. They are good. Uh -huh. A very solid team. Uh -huh. Karim Adeyemi, first half hat trick. Yeah, it's a good player. I've told Brendan Rodgers he was shaking. He was popoing. He went coach Celtic. That's what happened. It was a 10 10 performance from the guy. But what a great. I have discovered a player. Left back. Which team is in need of left back? Man, you don't have a left back. Oh, the two of them are coming in October. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Luxor, Luxor is going out for a longer spell again. No, oh. no, no. Today, updates. They said they are coming in October. Luxor. Malasia. Mas, Mas, and that's what they up told me. Malasia and Shaw are coming back oh. in October. This <laughs> Benfica boy. I saw him yesterday. Alvaro Carreras. What a game. Yeah, yeah, boys, you go and buy there and come back. After three games, there are no results. Okay. So, Champions League. I don't know about you. Um, who 
which player impressed you the most? By the way, I have to point out that so many Africans made a lot of history uh, in, yeah. in, in, in this week's round of Champions League matches. Uh, Mames Alisu scored his first ever Champions League goal for AS Monaco. What was the last time a Ghanaian defender scored in the Champions League? Uh, uh, that's a good question. A defender, right? Probably more yeah. than a decade, yeah. 74? So, so, wasn't Kasim always playing the Champions when he was in Switzerland, especially with young boys? The same young boy. <laughs> he but I don't know if he scored. That's a good question. So, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good. Your means I didn't score at Lyon. Jonathan means no. I didn't play in the Champions League. Yeah, I defender, the right? one that yeah. easily comes to head is Samit. Samit, what? During his buying days. days. So, you oh. probably have to go back. Over 20 years. The last time a Ghanaian defender yeah. scored in the Champions League. Don't ah. check. Ghanaian defender, I think now Blasters play. There are so many Ghanaians who play in the Champions League. Well, well. You, 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 yeah. you go and find some some Kasim, something from somewhere who has scored something. Who was never called? Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So there's that. So they got a two all draw. But that was a very good game. They rallied from 2 0 yeah. down. But Charlie, yeah. I, was, I was a bit scared for him because of the nature of the pitch. Ah, yeah. I, I don't think they should have allowed that match to have been played because they're. The pitch conditions were very risky. I mean, the ball could hardly bounce off of the pitch. And you could tell at the points that the players adjusted to it and were wow. not committing a lot in that game. And, and that obviously affected the quality of that match. And I, I was happy that for, especially given how close it is to the next Black Stars game, I was happy that it was able to finish it. It came up on skate. Yeah. Um, Mohamed Salah scored and set up one in Liverpool's 2-0 win over Bologna. His goal uh, means that he now has 49 Champions League goals. That means he is now the African with the most goals in the Champions League. More than DD. One more than the legendary DD. You know, one of the, the things that really surprised me about that record oh. is the fact that I just discovered, well, that it just dawned on me that even Drogba had more Champions League goals than someone like it. I would never have thought. No, that was like his... Okay, as I'm like, it, it it's not something that was consciously no in, my in the mind. drug bar in the drug bar at two debates. That was what we the pro drug bar was. Ah, we we're always yeah, using. So that was interesting. Oh, Eto was always the better footballer. Who was Eto? Was always yeah, Eto is a better footballer. Mm. Um, I don't know if he's a. He's not. Maybe you're looking for a better, better clutch performer. It's drug bar for sure. Yeah, Eto's level of consistency. Yeah. No, I'm not saying. No, I Charlie, think Eto is so the, the best. So that's what contextualizes the conversation. Yes, you know what I like. Appreciate the strength uh -huh, of both. Drogba and where, because in the history of the game, especially in our time, there have not been many players who made the big games their stage. How do you score ten goals in ten finals? Look, that's just ridiculous. Remember, Drogba is better. Rem remember the goal <laughs> that he scored against Bayern. Friends, the goal he scored against Bayern. I think in is he, 2008. When you, when you, you mean the, the two, 2012 like Champions League final? No, no, no. He, scored, he, scored, he first scored against Bayern somewhere in two, either 2006 or two. Okay, Bayern were in black. Date. Yes, Bayern were then it's all five. And looking back at that time, and this is pretty fresh in his yeah, yeah, Chelsea yeah, yeah. career. First, first two years, first years. But yeah, I remember even this. in I that remember. era, you have a number of big goals yeah. from the big games that... Um, even when he was supposedly struggling. Right? Exactly. And, and was still this was a player up. who, be, beyond the struggles on the pitch, had still not been... Had still not settled into a home because I think for the first four months, Drogba was living in a hotel mm -hmm. or that kind of thing. So all of these things. Today, when we hear about players having problems with adjustment because of family issues, look, Drogba was built different. And this yeah. was... Games. You mean, I mean, stage. it's a very interesting debate to always have. I think, have I think game. overall, no, I think I overall, I'm, I'm, and I'm a Chelsea fan, but I think overall, the better footballer is someone like it's Eto. Drogba but, is better. But, but I, if I am playing in a final and I have to play one of them, I'm playing Drogba. I'm playing Eto all the way. Okay. You see, playing Eto all even, even with the Eto thing. In terms of finals, mm -hmm. he has enough body of work. Except post 2010 or post 2009, Eto spends the rest of his life feeding other strikers. True. Right. So like the Diego Lito. Lito thing. Mm. But from 2006 against Shells, against Arsenal in the Champions League final, 2009 against Manchester United and all of that, where stages that just, Eto just showed us that, look, when push comes to shove, he's the guy. And these were teams where he was playing alongside Messi. He was playing alongside Ronaldinho. 2009, there was Thierry Henry as well in that Barcelona team. I mean, 
all timers. Yet Eto just proved himself that I'm right there. Like I can, I'm, I share the limelight with, with all of them by virtue of the body of work. But, but, but Drogba is Kwanza, better. Why are you so convinced that Drogba is better? I sound like so convinced. Because I, I, I because feel like Drogba, there's a debate to be Drogba had, could do what Eto could do. And Drogba right. could do more. Ah, Drogba, could, Rather, Drogba proved to us that mm-hmm. when he was tasked to be in the lone scorer, main, sit there, receive the ball, put the ball in the back of the net, he did it. And he won the golden, ball, uh, golden boot twice. He did yeah. it at Chelsea, even yeah. before he came to Chelsea with Marseille. Uh-huh. He did the top scoring was with Marseille, good. was best player in France matter. before he came. For Eto to win the Champions League, he needed to score more than 25, 30, 22 goals. For him to win which? To win what? To win the golden boot. Where? That's in Spain. Ah, Where? That's what I'm saying, that in Spain, there are but people scoring more than 20 goals. That's not true. Ah, in Spain, they no, say, I don't think, no, I don't think Drogba so. Did, Drogba did 29. Drogba did 29, did 29 at this season. season. I thought did the season with, uh, with Rooney. I'm talking about the league. I'm not talking yeah, about yeah, the league. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Eto's top score. See. It'd be the 29. It'd be the 29. I don't think Eto's. Yes. The goal in Yeah, 29. 2011. No. On the last day. They both had 26. Then Drogba scored a hat trick against Wigan. Yes, yes. That, that, that Kululu's hat trick. It's not Kululu, please. <laughs> don't, 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 don't. Kululu's hat trick. Everything you <laughs> were, you <laughs> were. So Kululu hat trick saved that uh, Lampard took imagine. penalty away from him. And Kai, who scored four in score 30. Ah. Look, Eto is multifunctional. No, no, no. Ah, ah, listen. He can play on the right. But he can drop play on the left. He see, can that, play that through the middle. He can drop deep and anchor. That bit is, ah, is not at all. Oh, no, no. I, I'm sure he's a better ask, footballer. I'm sure if you ask even Mourinho in terms of which he would be obviously the two. If he needed to make adjustment, that would re- that would require shifting one of those from the central position of the, their area of comfort. Who would cope better? Is that all? While while retaining. The performance levels. Is that right? It's Drogba. It's Eto. And Drogba did it. Yeah. Drogba, do you know Drogba? Drogba had to share. First, Drogba was there first. Then he had to share with Crespo his first season. Oh, yes. Then he had nine. to share. No. Oh, when Shevchenko, ah, Drogba, was, I, play, I, Drogba yeah. was placed as a second striker with yeah. Anelka. Yes, Anelka but, was no, 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 that's his Anelka Drogba was providing. Yes, yes, even at the point, Shev, Drogba was playing off. But you were saying, like you were saying. But friends, Eto's top. Let me just put this down. Playing as a supporting striker. Right. Or any other rule that is still central. It's not the same as playing out wide. He did it once. So what are you talking about? He did it he once. He did it yeah. once. The season they in won the trouble Champions League season. He did yes, it but, once. And how many goals saying, he scored? Because the I'm, following season. How many was goals he when, scored that when, season? When, when, when Mourinho left, 2011, he was the main Benitez, guy. And yes. even that season, he scored eight goals in the Champions League. He was, he was the guy. But I'm saying that his highest scoring season yeah. ever in La Liga, when he won the top scorer, was 205-206. And you know how many goals he scored? 26. That's less than Drogba's highest That's what I'm season. telling you. That's what that's Daniel that's was trying true. to say. That Nimli was telling lies when he ah, said that he yeah, told you that to a score three time something. Champions League winner to one person who I wanted the, the one person is better. But how much? How no, much we ah, can have that debate some friends, other time. Friends, we can put the two of them. Yeah, look at that. Three yeah. times African best football of the year comparing Drogba to him. Friends. What is that? Friends. You should stop that comparison. Overall, ah, how Drogba, many? Wait, 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 stop overall, the comparison or you think one is better? Overall, when, when you say stop, Eto is far like, better. We should not overall, even compare Drogba to him. Who would you overall, compare Eto to? How many goals did Eto score oh, in that right. season? Wait, 20, overall, twenty-six goals in the Champions League. In all competitions, no competition. I need to check that because I, I want to, to also compare that to Drogba's best haul ever. Oh, right, because it is not fair no. to limit it to their best in the league season. No, the no, point no, it was, was specific. So I just I was specific. Those. I what I said was Drogba has proven to that. Look, my point is, look, I saw that last game against Wigan. And what, was wrong with it. It. and what was wrong with that game? Let's, let's, ah, somebody's so going 8-0. Let's, let's, let's and that was, through. you see, the funny thing about let's that thing is, mm-hmm. Chelsea had scored 7, 8, 8, 8, like 3 or 4 times that season. That last mm-hmm. game against Wigan wasn't any outstanding anything. They had done it throughout the whole season. It scored 32 goals. And, okay, right. So 26 in the league, 6 in the, uh, in the League Cup. And in the Champions League, that's, oh, sorry, 6 in the Champions League. And then no goal in the... Copa the Red that season. So 6 plus 26. 32, right. 32 goals that hey. season. Actually, me have something to say about the, As- the Arsenal PSG game. Mm. All right, anyway. Um, so that's that. Arsenal PSG match. What do you want to say about it? I don't understand how... Okay, two things. <laughs> the first thing is, this week, Ateta has just shown all of us how much growth he and the team has gone through. And he's earned my respect from the City game to the Leicester game and all of that. In the past, those were exactly the sort of games that Arsenal would have lost. 
not because tactically they were inept, mm -hmm. but because in terms of street smartness, in terms of maturity, and how they were dealing with those situations, they just weren't up there. I mean, they, they used to turn up for these games and they'll be bullied. But these days, Arsenal have six footers and all of that, who also technically very, very good, v well coached, clarity in terms of how the team is set up and all of that. And I like the way they managed the PSG game. They, it was a very easy game for them. I think they are at that stage where it is long overdue for them to have a coming of age moment in the Champions League, okay. where you win a big game that more or less is a what is the watershed moment for them to move to the next level, right? Which may not necessarily be winning the Champions League, but winning something significant because where they have gotten to now, they need something that will confirm the credibility of what they have, not okay. give them the as for credibility. Look, Ateta has done very well. The other thing for me is. I don't understand how teams still keep conceding very soft set pieces goals against Arsenal. Against Man City. And Peps was probably the most unpardonable because they have players who should offer him the raw materials, right, to find the solutions in dealing with Arsenal set piece problems. If you go through every single one of those corner kicks that Arsenal take, you will see two things. They always, be it from Saka or Declan Rice, irrespective of whoever is taking the corner kick, right or left, it is, they never go for the near post. It's always to the back post. <coughs> and irrespective of whether it is Saliba, last season was mostly Saliba and Kai Havertel. Even with Gabriel Magaes being in the picture now, what they do is that you have three or four players sweeping up the area for the, the intended target of that cross. Mm. So you will see them jostling and pushing and Everyone, while one player stays on the goalkeeper, so in the see, that is game, the mistake the teams have been. If I'm the goalkeeper, if I'm the coach of Gada, whoever can you punch the hell out of him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because well, he's preventing you. From, and you see, yeah. they put Martinelli Look, there. I'm waiting for them to do that against Onana. <laughs> it's become because very consistent, that and you that can see that's what they're doing. See, who oh, comes into contact with Onana? You see, they will take him out. The, of the, the pitch. issue also is. If you are the goalkeeper, <laughs> right? Look, the frequency with which they've done it, ah, goalkeepers they, no longer like have an excuse. And coaches don't have an excuse. If you realize that Martinelli, and he's always the guy, yes, assign someone to get him away from the goalkeeper. Don't the goalkeeper should deal also, with him. Ah! As, and uh, number two, if, if you follow the flight of the cross as the goalkeeper, it is heading to the back post. You need to chase it. You either have they that, know. or you put someone on the last player who is not marked. Because there is always one free man who is not part of the Justin. And he's always the man who is makes he, the contact. Is he, I'm happy you raised this. Because the City game, it, the Spurs game, it happened twice. That was the first chance that Brown Magaes nearly scored. And then they went again, the same route he scored. Against City, they did something the same similar. Thing. The commentator said, it is coming. And then the second cross no, came. See, that was foolishness. The Leicester game. <laughs> the Leicester game. The, what was his name? Trossard. The first cross that was deflected away, you could tell this is exactly what they wanted. Do you know what the problem is? And then there was the second cross. Do you know what Again, the problem is? The problem is simple. Don't go about it. The defending team have always gone zona mad. And they have hoped that the one executing the corner key for Arsenal will not get the back. Will not find his But it's always the, to the back. And I'm saying that that is foolishness. <laughs> because in preparing for them, you've wrote today. Normally, Gabriel will be in the middle around the arc or the uh, penalty spot. Mm -hmm. When the cross is about to be taken. The moment the cross is about to be because it's going to go, then those guys, all, watch all the other Arsenal players start their movement from the far post. Yeah. Now, when they are moving in, those they of you who are the zone, they clear and block you off. Then he, because he's big, he mm -hmm. can manhandle whoever his marker is and then he go and head him off. It's simple. If you are the goalkeeper, like he said, the goalkeeper looks the most important player to follow that ball. So they know they're going to block you off. If I'm the opposing coach, he blocks you. Who is that? Uh, Martinelli. Martinelli. Punch him in the face. <laughs> That's Dude, a red card. Guy. It's not even a red card. Red card for the way. He is blocking him from the... Ah, no, I'm moving. <laughs> but he's standing there. He's allowed to stand He's there. not standing there. I'm also allowed to move. <laughs> but have you seen how Martinelli moves in those situations? I'm also allowed That's to move. Standing. Are you allowed to move your hands <laughs> no, into the face of someone? You don't determine when I move. When I move, no. <laughs> 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 Look, yesterday was I am waiting to see uh, how Onana in particular handles you, man. Eh? Will handle that because Onana, I know 
if you go, if you jump with him in the air and you want to stop him, all your nose. <laughs> uh, last season, the PSG last season, in particular. Danny before they scored Unana. Danny before no, they didn't score. They yes, score. yes, they so took they it to the back cross, post. Back post and again. You forgot the scored. Ah, you forgot he it. was standing there. The last minute. Before he was complaining. Before that, there was a corner kick. But before he was, was complaining, when they had not started. <laughs> <laughs> now so it's that, that, that was the beginning. So now Actually, it's clear. Okay. Wrap up on yes, the, how all of that builds the into parties, the PSG game. The parties cross for me. The yeah. party goal for me was it was on Pabi because it was a this, it was a it was a soccer see, goal. See, but see, it was the cheapest of of all of the goals that Aston have scored from set piece because this is what they did. All of them went to the back post again. That's what they do, and they the were all offside. Mm-hmm. PSG lineup, and to be fair. That lineup was good because that's how everything will defend. Yeah, you don't, you don't. But you them saw there. the cross coming when they started swarming the central area. Not a single PSG player moved to follow the run, and mm-hmm. that for me was odd. Look, so they started. They all started in the offside position. Yes, Move and then in a recycle. Yes, because if, if, if you Martinelli run, and Pate were both free, they both attempted to play the ball and missed. And they so were all coming them from the squad easy if they. Yes, and they were all coming from. Yeah, if you yeah, attempt yeah, to do so. something and maybe you cause a foul or you get it wrong, I can understand that. But to the fact that nobody reacts and they are all watching us and it's not one player or two. Do you know why? Why? Do you know why it's happening to PSG in particular? No. Because Luis Enrique, me, I've been telling you, Rubolo, <laughs> that guy is not correct to. <laughs> you were telling us about Teta a few years ago. So ah. you, when you are telling me about Luis Enrique, you see, I suspect you. You, you. you are one of those boys at the back who are you listening. You have something against Enrique. Are, oh, no, 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 no. Enrique's own. <laughs> Enrique, uh, you see, like, when I say he's not correct, listen to the reason why I say that guy is not correct. You see? When I say something, listen to the reason why. Oh, don't don't, don't do black it. Luis Enrique is not correct because uh-huh. look at the recruitment that he has done. First of all, look at his style of football and how stubborn he is. Uh-huh. Even in terms of opposition, who can outdo him? He will still stay with that same star. Look at the look, look at the look at the personnel. The midgets. Vitinia 5-5. Five, five. Neves 5-4. Five, Zaemri 5-7. Such, 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 such small boys. You know, Lee, five, five. I don't think he signed Vitinha. He was there before he came, I think. No, it not be he bring Zaire. It not be he bring uh, this thing. Uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Neves. Yeah. Is he not a brown one who brought Lee? You are playing these such, 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 such boys. And you, have, you see, Boga, <laughs> you are facing Arsenal alone. So you know yeah. there will be set piece. You know, set piece is a huge part of the way Arsenal That's of uh, 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 But <laughs> against Arsenal, he, will defend. he has to oh, play. Yeah. Ah! Yeah. As for those set pieces. Look, they were mismatched in all this. Day, I will not blame anybody. If the mm. players are attempted to do this, as now still win the headers, they will still work out. They shot boys. So they not City, for, City, for example, Apple. you had about four six footers who could match Helen, Diaz, and you see, Kanji. You see, and the other problem guys. was they, oh, didn't to be put, frank. They, they didn't put, they asked Helen to go and mark the. The near post. They all went zona at the yeah, near but post. Arsenal have never, Arsenal have never attacked the near post. Do you have? Them, from the they have. When? Look, there's you variety. Remember. Against Tottenham uh, uh, last season, but Gabriel Magalhães yeah, was near post. Point, but it was near post. the end of the year. Against Leicester, the point blank save that the goalkeeper made. It was near post. Yeah, Danny, they vary it too. Since the turn of the year. They vary it too. Since the turn of the year. But just to correct you, yeah. I was right. Vettinia joined in 22. Enrique joined so, in 23. Enrique so didn't see, sign him. The best way to solve this problem, the Arsenal set piece problem. This is the best way to defend it. Don't talk about punches. Yeah, the one. Oh, it's part of it. What are you talking about? They should come and block my goalkeeper for them to go ahead and score. Your nose will bleed. Simple. But someone, someone needs to do something about Martin. No, it's simple. You see, when the, the player, they have the corner, so one of their players goes down. Yeah. So that is, makes it what? 9v10. If I'm the defending coach, I keep one of my players high up the pitch. Yeah. Automatically, when I do that, it will take two of their players back. Yeah. Agreed? Now, the possible guys now, they have three players. Seven outfield. I have just one keeping to one taking off. I have as many as what? Nine. So you can choose to go both zona and man man. man. Right. So I don't know why the other coaches are just there and they are daydreaming. And allowing us and allowing to have Martinelli a, to a be field day. That, field day. Just be heading the ball. I say, I look forward to the day. <laughs> no, but, but I do. See, if you can't say anything about any of the things they do, ask for. That Martinelli nonsense in front of the keeper. Clad. It has to stop. Like, I'll, clearly, but it's not right. always Martinelli. The referee will never Look, whistle. One There's of no them recently is Martinelli. Ah, who will go and whistle? Okay, the but he's mocking me. I'm also finding my way towards the ball. Bah! 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 B
Uh, anyway. Ebola, so, uh, Let's that's, that, that's, that, that's, that, that's that on the Champions League review. I, I don't know about you guys, man, but um, anything in particular stand out for you? Let us know in the comments.